this place, man. It's unbelievable. Fire, fire. I love it. It's very cool. I mean, when people are jumping up and down out there, <laughs> have you had that kind of greeting anywhere yeah. else? <laughs> It's just crazy. It's just how, how crazy they go, and they go game in, game out, and it's just, it's just crazy. Let's go, man. Let's go walk. Yeah. We just talked about what it's like being here. This, this has gobbled up a lot of guys, man. Why did you adjust to New York so quickly? I mean, the curse is a lot of Dominicans here. There's so many people that, uh, that make you feel like home. That's how I get so comfortable so quick. And, Really appreciating my teammates that they make it really easy. I mean, Gary Cole, Aaron Judge, Rizzo, all those guys, they, they really make it really, really nice and comfortable. How many uh, new cousins you got now that you didn't know before? <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot. <laughs> Does it help being Dominican? How different is that to play in New York being a Dominican? I don't know if it helps to be a Dominican, but I just feel like it's just the way people treat, treat you here, you know? Yeah. I mean, just for being a Latin player, they just treat you like, like they are family. And I think that's, that's what it's all about. You just feel like you're family and feel comfortable where you're at. You know, the one thing I said for years, that you're the best hitter in baseball. <laughs> you feel like you're at that, that mantle? You're the uh, best hitter in baseball? I, mean, I feel like if you're a baseball player and you're in the big leagues, you, that's, that's got to be your mindset every time. Even if you're doing well, if you're not doing well, I think you, that's, the, that's the mindset that it's going to take you all the way to the big leagues. If you ever doubt about yourself, I don't think you're going to be able to make it. Every time you come in on that, on that field and that, in that, in that home play, that you got to be the best version of yourself and always think that way. And that's when it's going to take you to the big leagues, so I just keep thinking that way every time. Guys, you are watching the greatest hitter right now. My goodness. You've been one of the best players in the game for so long. When did you first notice, like, hey, man, I'm, I'm kind of at the top of the food chain here. When you were, was it 20, 21, 22? When did that start coming for you? <laughs> I mean, uh, I will say, I will say after I win that World Series, man, everything changed. I feel yeah. like everything changed. Whenever we won that World Series, I felt like, we are the best. We are the best team. That's when I started realizing, like, yeah, we, we are in the top of the What about top. this team? You've won a World Series. You've been in playoffs. You got what it takes here? I think we have everything that we need. Yeah. Definitely. And it's still, we're still missing a couple pieces that they, they are hurt. And I feel like without those pieces, look where we are. And I think whenever we add those guys, it's going to be even better. Well, and that's part of you. You've changed the dynamic of this team. I mean, everybody says it. <laughs> where, does that, where does that leadership, that fun, that personality, where, where does that come from for you? I just, I just started to be myself. I just started to be myself and, and try to show them that at the end of the day, this is a game. You got to enjoy it. You got to have fun out there. And I think we have so many veterans that they know. They know that too. So it's not about the money or anything. We're all about winning games and come out here and have a good time. All right, so I got some kids at home, and they play ball, and all their friends want to be Juan Soto. They want me to ask one question. Where did the Soto shuffle come from? Where did the slide <laughs> come from? Where did it come from? Everything Because they all do it. Yeah, everything <laughs> started when I was in minor leagues, you know? I just, it just to, to get myself comfortable, you know? I feel, feel that box that is mine, and that's how, that's how I start doing it. Just clean it up a little bit here and there, get everything settled get my feet right, and whenever I started doing it, the boys were like, hey, what are you doing now? I'm like, I just want to try to feel comfortable. I just want to make that box mine, and that's how I've been doing it. That's how everything started, and I just keep doing it. I don't know what you can say about this guy. I just do not. He seizes the moment as well as anyone I've ever seen. My big question is, how do you focus? I mean, you've had everybody run at you with contracts from Washington to San Diego, New York, you name it, and yet you're still able to stay focused in the storm. How do you, how do, you do that? I just leave everything to Scott. <laughs> One part to Scott, and then I, he's been doing a really good job for me to just 
focus on the field, and I, I'm, I'm happy on that way. Don't let the outside noise to get in my head, and I think that's how I do it. I just, I just don't worry about anything else. I feel like I'm, when I'm out, I'm good, and I just try to enjoy the moment, the spot where I'm at. Thank you, man. You've been an ambassador for a long time. I appreciate you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you for you. the smile, yeah. personality, and just being you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank All you. Right.